Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at grouped bar charts with labels with matplotlib. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and get some basic imports. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Import uh, numpy as mp. Um, today we're going to be using some data from Seaborn. So import Seaborn as sns. And we'll also import... Um, pandas as pd. Um, so let's go and do the tips uh, data set. So sns.load data set here, tips. Uh, then let's go on and do something with the data. So data tips.group by, uh, we want day uh, by sex. Um, and then we also only want uh, the tips data. Let's go on and maybe do um, the mean as well as unstack. Okay, um, so if you have questions on some of this stuff, uh, go on and see our other videos. Okay, um, we, we cover this extensively um, in those. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do in here is uh, deal with some of the labels. So, um, one thing in here is um, we'll do, oops, oh, and it's tip, sorry, not tips. Um, so I'm going to, we can just do this by doing something like data.index um, to get the information and we can type all that out, but I want this to be a little bit clean. So we're going to um, make variables for each of these. So. Uh, labels is going to be data.index uh, for our days. Um, then we'll do something like uh, male is equal to data of male. And then female is equal to data of female. Um, and that'll be good. Now, the next thing that we need when we are doing a nice bar chart in here, I'm going to create uh, some x variable in here, which is going to be mp.a range. And uh, we'll do this of the length of the labels. So this will give us our nice tick marks on the x-axis. And we'll give them um, a width here of 0 0.4 um, for the width of the bars. Um, and we'll go on though that because those are, those are labels here. So again, this is a location of uh, x ticks. Um, and this is... A width of bars. So next thing that we're going to do is do figure access is equal to plt.subplots. Um, and then we're going to want in here um, to make a couple plots. So let's do p1 is equal to access bar x minus a width divided by 2 a male width um, and what else do we want in here? Um, label is equal to uh, male. Then we'll do p2 is equal to access.bar x minus width uh, x, sorry, plus width divided by 2. Um, female width label is equal to female. Now, reason that we're doing this uh, divided by two is because again, we want them grouped. They're gonna be side by side with each other. Um, now let's do something about uh, the text. So let's add some labels. So axis.set y label here, um, and this will be um, mean, okay? Uh, so mean tip. Okay, uh, and then we'll do bar, um, whoops, axis dot uh, set title, um, mean tip uh, uh, by gender. Uh, and then we'll do axis dot set x ticks, um, oh, and not just by gender, uh, by day and gender, okay? Um, and then we want in here, 
Mm. Oh, because, okay, it's just a reminder, this here would be days because we grouped by day. Um, all right, gender, we want our X ticks is going to be X. Our axis dot set at X. Uh, axis dot set um, X tick labels in here is going to be labels. Then we want access dot legend. Then we want to deal with our bar label here. Access dot bar label is going to be uh, P1. Padding here, let's do maybe three pixels. We need to format this um, and we want this to be something like, uh, oh, kind of uh, just to show two uh, decimal places. Access bar label P2. Padding is going to be three. Format is equal to the same thing. Uh, and then let's make sure that this is a. Mm, I don't really think we need to do a tight layout. So let's take a look here. Uh, maybe we want to show that tight layout. Uh, so do uh, access or fig dot uh, tight layout. Not fit fig. There we go. It's a little bit prettier, but it kind of uh, doesn't show some of the stuff here. But if you notice here, now we have our nice um, look here of uh, our grouped data. So as we can see here, um, just depending on the day, maybe men have higher mean, maybe they have less. Um, but again, this is just a nice way to see our um, grouped bar charts uh, using some actual data. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.